Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Eric, and in today's episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at enumerations in C++. Let's do this. Now in the last tutorial, I went over what an enumeration is, how it's different from an array, as well as a constant, when to use it, and how to create one. And not only that, I also left off saying that you can use enumerations for things such as creating different user modes based on the user's input. Well, before I started recording this video, I realized that you cannot see in values into an enum variable data type. So in that case, we're going to be taking advantage of one of the key features of enumerations that make it different from arrays. And that is the fact that arrays has index values, whereas enumerations do not. But enumerations, in a sense, can have index values in a way. You can think of it like that. However, what makes enumerations so great is that you get to assign different values to or different numbers to each of the labels inside of it. Here, let me show you what I mean. So first off, let's create an enum. So as a quick refresher to create an enumeration, simply type in the word enum followed by the name of the enumeration. So let's call it mode followed by a pair of curly brackets and a semicolon. And then inside of the curly brackets, we'll list out the enumeration values. So let's call the first one admin and the next one user. Okay, so now that we got our enumeration values created, let's say we want to give admin a value of one. So we would set it equal to one inside the enum. And then let's say we want to give our user a value of 100. So in this case, what this means is if we refer to the value one for a data type of mode, it will refer to the value of admin. And the same idea goes for user, except it's represented by the value of 100. Okay. So if you don't do this, then the default value for admin in this case would be zero and user would be one. However, if you define one value for admin and no value values for user, the user would basically just be an increment of the previous item in the enumeration. So if admin, you assign the value of one and user, you do not assign any values to it, then user will basically be equal to two. And this is what makes it different from arrays because in arrays, you're always going to start off with the first element being zero and then one, two, three, four, five, and then on and on and on. Whereas enumerations, it is zero, one, two, three, four, five, and on and on and on until or unless you define a value for each of the values inside of it. Okay, so let's create our program for today's tutorial. So first off, we're gonna create a variable called int, which will store the mode selection value semicolon and then we'll see out some instructions so please select a mode and then parentheses will tell the user admin equals one user equals 100 and then as usual we'll see in the value into mode selection value semicolon now we'll use a switch statement to check the mode selection value Okay, so inside the first case, we're going to be saying, okay, in the case that the mode selection value is equal to one, which is represented by admin, we'll see out, welcome back, administrator. Oops, I spelled that wrong, administrator. And then break, followed by the case that it's a user, then see out, Hello, welcome to my program. End line, followed by a break. And then let's do a default statement. So see out, error, invalid user mode received. Okay. So what we've done here is basically we use our switch statement, which will check the value of mode selection value. In the case that it's admin, which basically represents the value of one. So in this case, if case is one, then see out welcome back administrator. If case is user, which is the value of 100. So that means if the case that the mode selection value is 100, then see out hello, welcome to my program. Otherwise, see out error, invalid user mode received, and then break. Okay, so if we were to compile and run this program, we should see it work. Okay, so as you can see in our custom window, it asks us, please select the mode 
and admin is one user is 100 so let's say we choose one enter and as you can see it shows welcome back administrator okay so if we were to run this program again and this time we enter the value of 100 it should show us the other message and it does it says hello welcome to my program so if we were to try that again but this time we enter a value that is invalid let's say 200 it'll show error invalid user mode received and it does this because as i've told you in the last tutorial enumerations basically act like labels almost and not only that another thing to note is that when the program compiles an enumeration what it basically does is it takes the value that you assign it if any and then it replaces the label that you give it with the value assigned to it so if you don't assign any values then it'll replace it 0 1 2 3 4 5 until your list of enumeration values ends and that's basically it for today's tutorial on enumerations in C++ if you have any questions about this topic please be sure to leave it in the comments below and I'll take a look at it and be sure to like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe to stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.